Contemporary artists are pushing the boundaries of traditional printmaking by engaging with the medium of fabric, from monumental adventurous tapestries to quilted collages and intimate works on cotton. It doesn't get much bolder than Grayson Perry's enormous tapestry, his map of truths and beliefs. Perry's intricate composition with tightly woven textures really needs to be experienced more than just viewed as it unspools before us like a historical tapestry. Perry conceived of this work as an altarpiece, the idea of pilgrimage, with the waters rushing through the background of the composition, setting an invented geographical scene that plays out like chaotic Elysian fields. Perry combines these social indexes of contemporary culture in his witty and often acerbic way. Prophecy is one of 12 monumental tapestries by Damien Hirst. He used a jacquard loom to produce this image. This loom uses a mathematical process which allows the unlimited production of very complicated patterns. For the design, he used a spin painting from 2008 and he took a section which he then divided, reflected and repeated to create this symmetrical outburst of colour. In Do Not Abandon Me, Louise Bourgeois and Tracy Emin engage in themes of identity, sexuality, grief and loss. This is a set of 16 dyes, each individually taken from unique paintings and drawings, where Emin has embraced Bourgeois' legacy of working with fabrics, working on fabrics, and specifically her obsession with printing on fabric in the final years of her life. This is such an impressive collaboration between two titan female artists of the 20th century. This is Etel Adnan's Summer. She was profoundly influenced by nature. A lot of her work is based on her responses to nature. She is very respectful of the medium. The works, they're not merely translations of a painting into a woven textile. Here you get these overlays of textile creating wonderful texture and, and pattern. You're able to experience it up close and then step away and really engage with the whole piece. 